Hi everyone, it is Tuesday and it is craft time. It's December 1st and I read a, um, I read a quilt story this morning called Mushka, a quilt story. And so we are going to make paper quilts. I love doing this. I used to do this with my third graders when I was teaching third grade. So what I want you to get is a plain piece of cardstock or plain paper. And then you need a bunch of squares, all the same size squares. You can do solid colors. You can cut squares out of magazines, uh, two by two, one by one, whatever you decide you want your um, size square to be. I have some, uh, some papers that are like scrapbook paper, uh, so they're patterned. And then I also have some solid colors, okay? And I'm not going to use all of them, but I'm going to put them right there. And uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to see how many, just so that I can see how many I can get across. So probably about three, I would say. Three across like that if we're doing these. So this size is three by three squares. So you may want to do a little bit smaller squares, um, but what I'm going to do is, so I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna do green and red for Christmas, for the holidays. Um, so I'm gonna do here like that. I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do a different color in the middle. And then, let's see, I don't have any other. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna do that because I only have one of those. I'm gonna do this and this. And then this and this. Okay, so this is not gonna fit on this piece of square. But uh, I want you to see what you can do let's see okay so you could do a simple nine by three or, or um, nine block square or three by three square uh, and create a pattern so this is a pattern very much like um, a pattern a quilt pattern um, so there are quilt patterns made out of fabric that are like this if you have a wallpaper book, like an old wallpaper book, which heaven knows someone might have something like that. Wallpaper samples are so much fun to use because they are cool pattern paper and it's a nice thick paper uh, to do lots of crafting with. And that was my favorite thing to uh, do these with. But you can do the next step. So if I, so I'm going to take, I'm going to take it off that and I think you can still see it. Okay. So if I go like this, so I've got my squares, uh, let's see. So here's my pattern, but I can step up my pattern or change my pattern by, because these are squares, by cutting triangles then I can do more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some other color. Let's see, one, two, one, two. I only need two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. I'm going to take two of these corners and two other pieces, okay, two other solids, and what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a line from one corner to the next, because did you know that two triangles make a square? If the triangles are right triangles. So, 
and a right triangle is right here because it has a right angle or a 90 degree angle. So kind of cool. So I have this drawn right in half and I'm going to take that and I am going to cut that right perfectly in half just like that. So then from two, I have four, I have four triangles of that pattern. Okay. And those were the patterns that I did on the outside. So now what I'm going to do, I don't know if I want the green. I think I actually might do it like this because I think this is really pretty and it's kind of reddish. So I'm going to do the same with another patterned paper. Okay. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to go and draw a line from one side to the other. Okay. Then I'm going to pick those two up. They are perfectly together. And I am going to cut them in half. Okay, so now, cool thing, okay? These right triangles are the same size as these right triangles, okay? So when I put two of them together, I get a square, a perfect square, which is the same size as the square. I want you to see this as this, the other squares because all our squares started out the same size. And there we go. Look at that. It goes right on. So then what I can do is I can take this pattern, okay? So I want you to look again. I'm gonna take this pattern that I had and now I'm going to up the game. I'm going to use triangles, two triangles on each corner to complete the pattern. You could do this with all of the squares if you wanted and create more color or you could just do it with the patterned corners or maybe just do it with the solids. Okay, so here we go. Love it. Okay, so now we have even more creativity. You can do the same thing, no matter what size your squares are. Next, you could do the same thing with the solids. I could decide that I was gonna do that, or that I was going to cut them and swap them up. So I could have triangles, 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 okay? They're not just on the corners. But you can do the same thing with fabric, but it's really fun to make paper quilts. See what you can create by cutting them up. What if, all right, I'm gonna do one step farther. I'm going to cut this square in half, okay? I'm gonna cut this square in half, in half on the diagonal, just like we just did, okay? Same one, okay? This is a different one. I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna cut it on the diagonal, but I'm also going to cut this, okay, which is also red on the diagonal, same thing, okay? It's the same size, remember? And I'm going to do, hmm, I'm going to do this one, okay? So I have some printed paper. I'm gonna do that one and cut it on the diagonal. And I'm going to do a solid in the middle because I like it, okay? So I have four 
and I'm going to cut those on the diagonals. So then I'm going to get the same diagonals as those, okay? But then I'm gonna do one more thing and I'm going to cut them on the diagonal again. Cut the diagonal. Okay, all right, before I cut that, I'm going to go like this so that I have the diagonal, right, like this. Okay, just like that. So I have the diagonal like that both ways. Okay, I'm going to cut in just, I'm just going to cut, I'm going to cut it all the way. Okay, so then I end up with two triangles. Okay, okay, now I have four triangles. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut those. And these again are going to be right triangles. Right now it is. And then it's going to be again. Okay, so it's a smaller right triangle, just like, just like this one was a right triangle. Okay, so now I have smaller ones. And these are going to fit in the middle and they're going to make a square. And I want you to see, I'm gonna put this like this Okay, I'm going to flip it over so that you can see that when I put these together, they are going to make the same shape like this, just like that. Ooh, cool. So cool. So that is four triangles that make a square. These are two triangles that make a square. And then, of course, then we have our squares. And we started out with just squares. It is so fun to play with this. You could do that same thing. You could do that pattern in the middle. You could cut them again so that your triangles, you make right triangles again, what if you cut one of these in half again like this? Then you could split it and then you'd have even more pattern that you can use. Try it out, play with it, um, and just have fun doing paper quilts today. Hugs to you all. Happy December. Miss Amy. <laughs>